All right. Um, we had quite a lot of celebration uh, for that one quick day with the with the news of landing the big client. Well, long story short, I think we celebrated too quick on that matter. Like I personally am always optimistic of the shit that is going to happen to me. So you know, I was I I was in general just excited as to how things will play out considering the new client onboarding. Turns out they have their own internal issues and it's not going to happen. So that's the long story short. <laughs> to be very honest, there was already MNV was already in a situation where you know we have we actually have a website delivery which has been delayed by a lot of time and there's another website work which is again delayed by a lot of time personally speaking i do not i do not like myself to be in this position where you know i'm delaying things for the client and two i do not like to keep the client in 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 such a position where they pay and they deal with they deal with the situation what's happening through mnv as a company so you know there was already a pretty fucked up situation going on during this situation getting the news of landing the big client obviously obviously cheered me up and cheered uh prakash up too well turns out that client is not onboarding and we even had another other client which uh which we thought would on board but then later realized the requirements are not going to match by my company they required a little more of offline print ads and everything which i cannot or the company cannot execute at the moment so you know it's like going through all the fucking emotions in the span of past 3 <laughs> days a lot of emotions going through each and every fucking thing uh still the website work is still happening the due date for one website is today and the other is sometime in the next 3 to 4 days hopefully i mean the situation how it plays out there was a delay initially from our end and later the person working on the website fell sick got covid and before the covid shit it was shankranti holiday so you know it's like in a line things just add up and add up and add up man a one fuck all journey and one fuck all roller coaster ride of all these emotions involved it really is something it really is something well going through all of this shit it it has given me a clarity on two fucking topics number one i need to expand my website team and have a person i can rely on in terms of executing the deadline and delivering the output that's the most important part and to never be content that your pipeline is full turns out your pipeline might just go dry literally like this so you know there are two things that have become very very evident uh always have the fucking pipeline full so that even if somebody pulls out in the last minute we still have people who can you know fill in the position not to say less we do have a uh, meetings lined up this coming week uh, i'm really excited and looking forward to them because these are all potential clients again this is not in the vertical of smm but in the vertical of videos nonetheless they're still going to fill up the pipeline and produce the cash flow so so yeah man that's it and that is actually one of the reasons why I did not want to make any video because I myself was like kind of annoyed pissed frustrated on myself for letting all these situations play out the way it has played out time to take the fucking extreme ownership and you know turn things around rather than fucking dwelling and crying about it after things have already happened so yeah in the next one month uh in the next one month planning to get three more smm clients and at least two video contracts at the same time i have to have to work on the website vertical 
and make it stronger because we do have a lot of potential business which will come from that end so i do want to cater and make some money off that as well so yeah man that's a fucking situation <laughs> it's a fucking marathon life <laughs>